I'm Tim Leong, and we're live at the 2019 EW Comic Con Video Studio presented by Toyota. To 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 Tim, you're Toyota. great with the teleprompter. Do you want, do you want us to do it? This yeah, yeah. Do you want to do it? Here. Hi, I'm XXX, and we're live. What's XXX? Are we in that building? No. <laughs> okay, this is me. Okay, is this live? It is live. It's live. We've messed it up, but it's okay. No one's cool. We're rolling with nice it. That way. Does this now that you guys are wrapped up your final season? Does this Comic Con feel different than the previous ones? Yeah, we're behaving very badly this one. <laughs> Why is that different? And that's not that yeah. different. But if, oh, Joe's not here. Yeah, she's sad. Which we're sad about. I mean, listen. Like it does make Joe. you appreciate it more. Actually, it's it's funny because it's become sort of part of every year after we wrap and we've been here. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's been wonderful to be. You, it's, what's so great about Comic-Con is you realise and you hear from the, the genuine fans what they think of the show and you get a really honest opinion. And um, it does feel odd that we've, that we've finished. We're proud of the work we've done and we, I think we're pleased that it's also that it has come to an end, that they made the decision to wrap it up and not sort of let it become something that they didn't didn't know it was. I think there was some uncertainty as to whether they wanted to carry it on, and there was loads more storylines they could have done with it from the comic, but yeah. I think it was a great decision to say, let's let's finish it, and it's going to be an incredible season. I think I think maybe maybe when next, like January, when we usually start, I think that's when we may, may, might feel like a hole in our heart, you yeah. know? Yeah. You know, when we're kind of like, oh, now, this usually I should be heading off to do Preacher, and I think that might be a a point where we like ring each other, go hi, how are you? Yeah, are you I think doing? it's fully, you know, it's fully, it hasn't fully hit me yet. I think most of us are still processing, and the final episode is gigantic, but it's also highly emotional, and I, I think there's a lot of mix up with what's in the episode and what's happening in our lives, leaving and, each other. And a lot of our scenes were like beautifully, like not wrapped up, but like I think our scene, I, I was, I'm particularly fond of how we finish. Mm -hmm. Like there's this scene that we have, and it was, we, it was very emotional, but it was kind of perfect it's an odd finish but it's the kind of i don't it's like a reckoning of people of two people who have had like had like an ongoing thing but deeply respectful of each other in a strange way you know yeah and um, understanding of each other yeah. like and and in a way that like we've we we, uh, we we've met our matches yeah and there's a certain sort of like hats off yeah that scene gutted me personally and it gutted feathers down just absolutely gutted me it's re insanely well written and i'm so glad that we got um that kind of you're right odd closure together but closure when you were talking about jenny yesterday i was like who's jenny the neighbor <laughs> the I sweet like, neighbor and i was like oh got it yeah and I was like, oh. well as we as you go in as you were about to head into the la final season is there what is like one thing that you really wanted for your character hmm. God, God, who is the man? God? Who is the man sitting at the end of the bench? <laughs> <laughs> he he don't recognize me, and I don't see him ever in the show. Uh, I I'm Mark Harlick. I play God. You'd never recognize Obviously. me. Check out the show. A few people today have said it's only cast, please, and have ushered him out. <laughs> but, it's, but we do we do every day. We go. Hi, who are you? <laughs> You're like. He's like Oh Seth God. Rogen turned up. <laughs> Seth Rogen uh, uh, turned up. Uh, yes, uh, I didn't my, really my character is one of the examples of the magic of our uh, makeup department, our makeup yeah. and prosthetics yeah, department. Which also have an amazing costume. Uh, besides the robes, you have a dog costume. I as travel well. with my own CGI crew. <laughs> They're with me remember? all the time, yeah. creating Do you remember heavens around me. <laughs> The buckets of sweat that you in, 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 yes, the oh, buckets right. of sweat. I, I, have, I, have, like, I have saved the buckets of sweat, and they are oh, they are they are being distributed to reliquaries around the world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the one thing that I do want to say, to compliment what these guys have said, we have a sense of having completed a whole thing that has reached a phenomenal conclusion. And uh, we're in the process here at Comic Con. We're we're side by side with television shows, especially that are ongoing, that are midstream, and they'll be back next year, and the fans will be back next year. We're here to hand this thing off yeah. to the fans, yeah. saying we have completed it. We put years into the making of it. We have uh, uh, searched our characters and penetrated them and followed them right down to the conclusion. Now uh, here we are, handing it off. And it's a it's it's a sad feeling, but there there's a, a feeling of uh, victory, a triumph. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is probably the craziest show that's on television. I think it's fair to say. 
Yes. Uh, Actually, there are shows coming out, you know, down like The Boys owes their existence to Breacher. I mean, we broke every rule. We Every rule, especially for an ad-supported network like yeah. AMC. I mean, kudos to them for keeping us on the air. Well, what, what from the first three seasons uh, made you really think, like, I can't believe we're filming this? Jesus does it with a housewife. I mean, I was like, we're done after this, right? This is not actually happening, right? I mean. But it is. I didn't yeah. say the F word. No, you're no, no. I, I restrained. Are there any other like moments where like they just you couldn't believe this was actually going to be filmed? It was There's... constantly like that, wasn't it? Yeah. I think it became we became immune to the ludicrous. It was uh, when you tried to. It, it was only when you explained to someone who had no idea about it that you'd realize that you were talking about things that seemed so absurd, but had become normal to us. Every week there was something that was absolutely revolting and chaotic and disgusting. <laughs> And we and we did it without even questioning it. You know, we were yeah. rolling through entrails. We but had... but to add to that, it, it wasn't gratuitous. No. It's human nature yeah. Yeah. taking taken to its extremes. Yes. Yes. Everything is yeah. based in human nature. It's punk. It's like, TV. What is the TV most it's, t it's punk as TV. Like, that's exactly what <laughs> yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah that's have. true. We that's totally this incredible, true. It was such a gift to do a show that allowed us to be comedic. We had w scenes where it was outright funny to very serious dramatic scenes that were about our past and who we wanted to become and, and then there were massively great fight sequences which were as good as any you know in, in films because we had a wonderful stunt department and that was a, a massive privilege to be to work and I think we'll find it hard to find anything like that yeah and the stunts the stunt the fight scenes are scenes I mean, I, I, I would be in the middle of a fight call all the time and be like, wait, I don't understand what this beat is. And that did not, they did not give them a second thought. They knew it tells a story and it tells an emotional story and there are beats to it. And I, I've just found that highly impressive all the time. Yeah. So Ruth, when I think of Tulip O'Hare, I have this vision of her driving down and speeding down this back road, maybe like a vintage muscle car, <laughs> very angrily. Um, but in yesterday we learned at the panel that you'd, don't you drive. Not yesterday. <laughs> so that, that was not that, really. I did not know that. So you don't drive. My character. Huh? So you don't drive. No, I don't. I don't have any other skills. And I, I'm <laughs> doubting the acting. Well, but you, you know. not tell when she does this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but genuinely, when you're driving, I'm like, like, how do you like? Do you, how much do I move the wheel? And like, literally concerns me. It concerns me. It's always a giveaway when they look behind for too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I do that. Watch closely, everybody. <laughs> and it's really embarrassing when the car comes to stop and there's loads of people that are just pushing the car just in and stopping it to frame. I know, so I'm, I'm usually the only one doing this. Oh, yeah, we all have to act like that because she could. We're, she's always driving, so we always have to be those idiots. It'd be so embarrassing on the film because we'll go one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> but as Seth, Rogen, as Seth the... Rogen pointed out yesterday, the young stunt boy that uh, the doubles <laughs> for you did a great yeah. job. Okay. <laughs> My stunt double is called. Kiri Hayashi and she's a fucking right. queen. That's she's a badass. That's she's right. brilliant. That's right. And Bad so joke. today you dropped a trailer. Uh, I've watched it several times. There's a missing ear, an atomic bomb, dinosaurs. It's like dinosaurs with we guns. See. Yes, there the are dinosaurs. Yeah. There's also uh, I think it dropped uh, it? Yes. This, this morning. Cool. Yeah. Uh, if that all that doesn't make someone want to watch the final season, what? How can you convince them? What would you say that could top that? I think it's more peculiar than anything on television at the moment in its extremes. And if you've been watching it or if you haven't been watching it, you'll see something that I think is beautifully shot and is ludicrous in a sense, but also embedded in a very human and interesting take on the world at the moment. And it brings up interesting conversations about religion and does exactly what the comics did, which is an, an, a sort of a view on this world that we're living in, this chaotic madness from the perspective of one person. It's not opinionated, it's not it's just one person's idea or opinion and it's not it's not judgy and it's complete madness and they're the most incredible colourful characters that you will see on any T V show. I also think like we should instead of a trailer we should just do the blooper reel reel. Which would yes. be mostly Joe. Farty. <laughs> and I think that will reel everybody in. Awesome. Well thank you so much. We to love you Joe, we miss Preacher. you. We wish you were here. Sorry. Yeah. No. I had to like it's uh, great. Thank you so much, and uh, stay tuned August to EW.com. Watch Preacher on AMC August 4th. August 4th. Yeah.